Hello again everybody, this is Matt and uh, today I'm going to be um, seeing if I can do a little tune-up on my cassette deck. This is the uh, Denon DRM740 and it's running slightly slow, about 5-10% to 10 slow. I hadn't noticed it until this past weekend when I was playing um, Eagles Hotel California and it just didn't quite sound right. I couldn't put my finger on it. And so I then played the cassette in my other deck, and it sounded fine. I tried it on CD, that also sounded correct. Um, I tried doing a little comparison by playing the cassette and the CD at the same time, and sure enough, um, within like 20 or 30 seconds, the CD was clearly ahead of where the cassette was at. Now, um, I haven't been able to find any directions online for this specific model, but I have found directions for the DRM710A, which... Um, is a, a similar model. This one's a slightly later version, but the 710 is close enough. And so um, it should be as simple as just adjusting a little potentiometer inside of here, but we're going to find out. Hopefully it is. <laughs> so I'm going to need a few things. First up, screwdriver to open the case. Next up, I have a set of um, like micro precision screwdrivers right here. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to need these or if I can use a larger screwdriver, but better to be safe than sorry. For the potentiometer, it might be on the small side because it should be either attached to or next to the um, motor for the for the main deck in here. Next up, I have a pair of headphones so I can hook them up to the cassette deck to listen because I don't want to have to hook them up back to the... Uh, to my main system and then if I have to make any tweaks I have to unplug it and etc etc. Um, I also need a point of comparison so I have a copy of Hotel California recorded onto mini disc right here and I'm gonna hook up a pair of earphones right here to this uh, portable mini disc uh, player so I can play this at the same time that I'm um, playing the tape after I've made a little adjustment and we can see how close it is. Um, ideally, I would be using a speed calibration tape for this, but as I don't own one, this is going to be as good as it gets. A speed calibration tape would play um, a tone at a specific frequency, um, which you can then uh, you can then hook the deck up to your computer, and you can use software to check uh, how precise the tone is matching the frequency that it's supposed to be. If it's deviating, that means the tempo's off. Um, you know, it's too too fast or too slow, which will cause the frequency to um, um, to not be exact. But I don't have that, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, and we're going to see how it goes. So, um, yeah, let's let's open this up and let's take a look inside. <laughs> Okay, so it's a super clean setup in here, um, very nice, um, we don't have a bunch of wires trailing everywhere, it's all very nicely organized, um, so that's good to see. The uh, What we need to be looking at is over here, because this is the back of the, um, um, the actual uh, uh, tape player, tape recorder itself, and um, I think I can already see exactly where we're going to need to be adjusting, and it's right in here. So uh, let me show you a little closer. If you look carefully here, this is the main motor. And you can see this little black dot. See where I'm pointing to? Um, that's the potentiometer. Um, there's actually a little slot in it that we'll be able to insert the screwdriver, turn it just a little bit, and um, yeah, we should be able to uh, hopefully increase the speed. So it should be a right turn to increase the speed, left turn to decrease. So, of course, I'll be starting out by uh, turning to the right and increasing a little bit. Um, you know, if I overdo it, then I'll need to turn it back, dial it back just a little bit. Um, and, of course, after I've done that, I will need to um, play my cassette, my uh, Eagles cassette, and then play the mini disc as well by way of comparison. And I'll play them both at the same time. 
uh, one in either ear so um, hopefully <laughs> I'll be able to tell uh, reasonably accurately um, how close the speed is. I'm shining a flashlight um, just to make it easier both for you to see and for me to see so this is what we're going to be adjusting. Um, I've got a very small micro screwdriver right here. This is the smallest one I have so hopefully it'll get the job done. Of course the, the deck is not plugged in. Uh, it's tempting to plug it in you know because it would be quicker but the back of this um, screwdriver which is metal is going to be getting very close to the power transformer so it's, and even if it wasn't it's not a good idea you know so um, better to be safe than sorry so we're going to pull up, put this in here it's pretty close it's pretty close the cassette's just slightly slower still but I, I think it's about twice as good as it was so I'm going to make another little adjustment I got to be honest this is a real this is a real bitch to do because you can't actually see the potentiometer, it's covered by this little rubber grommet thing. So I was trying to get the um, the rubber thing off and I was, uh, anyway. Um, so you just sort of end up fumbling around and finally I found where, where it is with the screwdriver just by fumbling blindly. It's kind of, you have to kind of angle the screwdriver up and finally it latches onto something. Um, but that was pretty close, playing them both together after a little while, the uh, mini disc was slightly ahead of the cassette, but um, it was nowhere near the disparity it was uh, when I started. So I'm going to make another little tweak to it, um, and then we'll test it again. That's pretty damn close, that's pretty spot on, you know, I, I'm sure the cassette's probably going to be off slightly, but if it is, it's going to be off by like, you know, 0.5% or something, instead of like 10% that it was before. Um, I'm happy with that, yeah, they sounded pretty much in sync, I listened to about two thirds of the song, or half the song, I guess, and um, sounded pretty good, so yeah, now it's time to put it back in the, uh, put it back in the main setup and uh, we should be good to go so all right thanks for the patience guys at watching this um yeah you know you need uh like i said two listening sources you need a reference source and then the headphones for the deck and um make sure the power's off um the uh potentiometer is going to vary from deck to deck um fortunately it's easy to find on this deck it was just wasn't very easy to manipulate um, but uh, yeah, first time I've ever tried this, seemed to work out fine, so thanks guys as always for watching, and until next time, bye bye.